Hi, everyone, and welcome to FedScoop's Next Generation Workspaces panel, brought to you by Cisco, Citrix, and NetApp. I am David Stegan, the reporter for FedScoop, and joining me here today is Jeff Husky, the CIO of the Federal Trade Commission, and NetApp's Ken Liska. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? David, good. How good. Are you? Thanks for having us. Sure. I well, want to talk a little bit about Next Generation Workspaces, and you guys are both experts in this space. If there are other federal agencies or organizations who are looking to implement these Next Generation Workspaces, what advice would you have for them? First advice is, is to start small. Um, one of the things we do a lot in the federal space is that we try to swallow the elephant at one time, and we always choke on it. So my recommendation, sort of like we did at Federal Trade Commission, was start with a few pilots, get some feedback from some of your heart toughest customers, and then sort of build sort of a, a game plan from their feedback with the rest of the agency. Ken? Yeah, I would like to echo that. Start small. Uh, when you do start planning out, make sure you build off an agile data infrastructure. You want your building blocks to be there, so whenever your business needs start changing, as you start wanting to deploy 100, 200, 1,000 more desktops into the mix, you have the infrastructure that can scale to that level. You want to make sure it's efficiently in your cost savings, and you want to make sure when you need to get disaster recovery back in the mix, it's still all there and ready to go for you. Yeah, that's, let me just echo, that's a good point. Uh, I've seen a couple agencies who would start even with pilots and stuff and not have the infrastructure to support them, where I, my recommendation is, is do just that. Start, build your infrastructure first, then reach out to do a couple pilots and stuff, and then expand on those pilots. How do you guys see next generation workspaces kind of developing in the federal government over the next 12 to 24 months? Well, it was discussed earlier today about budget and stuff. We, are, we in the federal government are looking at squeezing every nickel we can out of our, our dollars and stuff. And one of the ways to do that is to get rid of this stuff we call infrastructure, the buildings and, and the concrete and stuff. And that's how I think next generation of the workspace will help the federal government be more productive is to get out of the leasing space, getting out, getting out of the building space and moving people to where they live. Yes, I see, what I see virtual workspaces doing is it's, it's an enabler to help the government save money and reduce costs. With budgets in a constant uncertain state or being reduced, um, security vulnerabilities with PCs all the time, desktop refreshes. Um, right now, many organizations are still on Windows XP or Windows Vista, so getting to Windows 7 is a great way of implementing your virtual desktop um, scenario at that point. It's just an enabler for, to make government run smoother. Great. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for sharing your insights. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right. For FTC, FTC CIO Jeff Husky and NetApp's Ken Liska, this is David Stegen for FedScoop. I want to thank everybody for checking out our Next Generation Workspaces panel brought to you by Cisco, Citrix, and NetApp.